everyone and welcome to another Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous video and with the recent news of season 4 being pushed back to December of this year, people are left to theorize on what could happen in the new season. And for today's video, I thought we would take a look at some of those theories that have come out so far. And with that, I say we begin with here is the top 10 Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous season 4 theories. And I think we should start off with the obvious theory, number 10, the kids go to Isla Sorna. The reason that this is number 10 is because this theory is known by everyone. And that as soon as season 3 had finished, the first thing anyone talked about or even theorized was that the kids were going to make their way to Site B. And since it's very likely to actually happen, and many other theories are based off of this one theory, I decided we'd get it out of the way and say that Sorna is going to make its return for the kids to be trapped on for a little while. And with that, I say we get on to other theories that are related to Sorna or even Nublar, with this one being number nine, the Manticore hunts the kids down. The reason I believe that this is the case is due to two things. First, we know that Manticore was already hunting the Scorpius Rex in season three which we see a drone drive by, fly by one of the Scorpius before getting knocked down, which obviously shows that they were, in fact, trying to find the Scorpius Rex. How they discovered it, we don't know fully, but it could be one of their spies told them about it, and they are trying to get it. Now, since both are dead, they could be blaming the kids for it, and then hunting them down in revenge. And the second reason is because if the kids have befriended the unknown creature that is on the boat, which is most likely of Scorpius Rex itself, as well as a theory that I actually have discussed in the past, which I'll provide a link for all of the theories that we have covered before, um, it could be that Manticore will very likely try to go after this new Scorpius Rex, and if the kids are friends with this Scorpius Rex, they will interfere, and then Manticore could go after them leading to trouble for both sides. And heading away from Manticore, we go to another um, scientist, and that is Dr. Wu. The return of Mr. Wu and also the amalgam testing. Now this is because of one thing, the Indoraptor. Now this theory stems from an idea that Swerve actually had in one of his videos recently, which I'll provide a link up in the description. And his theory states that Wu could have a secret facility on Site B currently, and perhaps it is where Wu is working on specific parts of the Indoraptor project, specifically maybe field testing and stuff. And I know it would be kind of strange seeing how he has not made the Scorpius Rex yet, but it still could happen. They could have a massive time jump or something. We don't know completely. And it may be here because he wants to keep it secret from the public, of course, and since this public believes that Sorna is an abandoned island and with no dinosaurs or no life, I think it would be the perfect site for Wu to test the Indoraptor in the field. However unlikely this theory is to happen, I think it would be cool to see the Indoraptor hunting through out the wilds of Isla Sorna. Number seven is actually one that may actually happened due to the popularity of this dinosaur, but the kids rescue Bumpy before the volcano erupts. The possibility of this happening is now low due to where the show is heading from now, but it could be possible that if the kids were to return to Nublar, they could discover that the volcano, Mount Sebo, is now active again and could make it their mission to try and save Bumpy and take her off the island before it's too late. And this would be a nice way to s set up um, the future of Camp Cretaceous, as now they have to take care of Bumpy, and maybe they take her to Isla Sorna, where they believe it's to be safe for her. We don't know. And number six actually connects to both islands. The Mosasaurus attacks the boat. In all honesty, of all the theories on this list, this is the one that has the best chance of happening, due to season three's ending taking place during the events of Fallen Kingdom's opening, in which the Mosasaurus was now free in the open ocean, and probably could cause the campers to be forced back to Isla Nublar now that they are on open ocean with the Mosasaurus. 
And although this is very likely to happen, this could actually lead to a dark revelation for the kids if this does happen. Number 5. The mysterious creature could be a baby baryonyx. Ever since the reveal of there being a currently unknown creature that is in the yacht when the kids leave the, the island at the end of season 3, everybody has discussed what kind of dinosaur it could be. Most people believe it to be a Scorpius Rex, others believe it to be different dinosaurs, but one that is very that has been talked about a lot and suggested is a baryonyx. This is due to the fact that in the finale of season two, the two remaining baryonyx that were shown throughout that season, Chaos and Limbo, infiltrated the boat in order to kill Tiff, one of the poachers that unfortunately killed Grimm, one of the other baryonyx. And it's possible that while we do see them in Camp Cretaceous season three for a brief cameo where they kill a mercenary, it is possible that one of the Baryonyx could have been pregnant and may have laid eggs on the boat, and perhaps one of them could have hatched and remained on the boat, which this would explain why the boat was in fact damaged from the inside in episode 2 of season 3, because there is a Baryonyx under the deck. Number 4, The Return of the Spinosaurus. If, if the kids going are going to Isla Sorna, then it's obvious this is going to happen. It's guaranteed if they do. Not only that, but people were theorizing that the Spino could appear in Season 3, which, while that didn't happen, it's very likely that the Spino could appear again on both Isla Sorna and Isla Nublar. And I think we can all agree that this would be awesome to have, seeing this mighty beast that killed a T-Rex roam an island once again. And not only that, another group of dinos we want to see return that has been theorized is that the return of the T-Rex family of the Lost World. And this, if we go to Isla Sorna and we see the Spino, why not also include the Rex family that ruled that island before the Spino? I actually had this as one of my first Season 4 theories that I ever did, which again, link for it will be in the description below. And I think it's very likely that if the, when the campers go to Isla Sorna, they would need a T-Rex to have to face. And, I, and why not have an iconic duo of Rexes, such as the bull and female Rex? And wouldn't it be awesome if the kids found the bull T-Rex and actually recognized it and then reminded the audience of its reputation of the dino that was responsible for the San Diego incident. And I think it would be the best to see it, and, not, and I don't think I'm alone on that. And with both the return of the Spino and the Rex family possibly happening if we go to Sorna, I think we also have to talk about number two, the T-Rex family versus the Spinosaurus. If we have both these two sharing one island, I feel like this will be inevitable. And who wouldn't want to see both the bull and female Rex take on the Spinosaurus that once killed a young T-Rex? Now, while I do think this will happen if we see both these species return, I don't think it means we'll have it to a fight to the death, because that doesn't need to happen. What could happen is the bull T-Rex and female Rex make themselves look stronger and scare the Spinosaurus off, as the Spino may have never faced off against two T-Rexes at the same time, and could be intimidated by it. Or maybe they do fight brutally, and then both species get too injured, they can't continue fighting and decide to call it off. But I feel like if both the Spino and Rex family are to appear in Season 4, the chances of this happening will be high. And before I give number one away, I want to give an honorable mention to the return of the female pilot from season three's ending, which we don't see what happened to her after the helicopter that she and some of the campers crashed in, which some people feel like she escaped, some people feel like she did not. But either way, if she's alive, I think it would be really cool. And in fact, if the Mosasaurus were to destroy the boat, she may be their way off the island, actually. But I say that is a possibility, and that's why it's the honorable mention. Now, on to number one, which, fair warning, this is a dark theory. The kids don't make it home, ever. Now, yes, we're in the dark zone. 
And unfortunately for the campers, there are multiple bits of evidence that um, suggest this to happen. And the two that are most um, noticeable are the Mosasaurus and Wu's information of hybrids. Now, I don't want to get too deep into it, but I will say that these are very, this is a very dark theory. Now, I don't think the kids will be killed. I just think they may stay trapped on, say, Isla Sorna. And in fact, if this does turn out to be true, this could be the way that Camp Cretaceous really connects with, East, with Jurassic World Dominion. Because we know Isla Sorna may be having a big role in that movie. And why not connect it with Camp Cretaceous by having the kids trapped on there? But guys, there it is. That Those are the top 10 theories of Camp Cretaceous Season 4 that I had decided to show you for today. And I want to know, which ones are your guys' favorites? And which ones do you think are most likely to happen? And not only that, do you guys have any other theories that you think could happen? I'd, live, I'd love to hear all of your thoughts in the comments down below. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate the like, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to join the hunt, as we are almost at 1,000 subscribers. I believe we are at 900 when recording this video, so help me out and let's reach that milestone, that first milestone. Be safe, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye